In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to create a tin surface. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a tin surface? Well, Autodesk defines a tin surface as composed of triangles that form a triangulated irregular network, which is what tin stands for. A tin line is one of the lines that makes up the surface triangulation. We'll use a survey as an example. Typically, when a survey crew goes out to gather data from an existing site, they're obtaining point data based upon where their instrument rod is located. So all of that point data is brought into the Civil 3D program as points within our CAD program. And those points get connected by lines that are called tin lines. And these tin lines are what generate our surface. Currently, I'm in the 01 tin surface example drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. And if you select any of the line work within this drawing, you'll see within the properties that you selected a tin surface, which is a civil 3D object. If I deselect that and zoom in a little bit further, you'll see that we have these green surface contours. But these green surface contours only come into effect if they've been triangulated based upon these white tin lines. And the way that we get these white tin lines is that the tin lines come as a result of being triangulated from all of the surface points that have been obtained out in the field. These surface points are these cyan points that you see just more or less randomly shown throughout our drawing, but they're all connected by a white tin line, or they're triangulated to create a surface face. And those surface faces are what generate our contours. Let's look at it in a different way. I'm going to select my Civil 3D object, or my tin surface, and I'm going to go under Style. I'm going to click that drop down, and I'm going to select Create Edit. I'm going to edit my style by clicking this button. I get my Surface Style dialog box. I'm going to turn off my contours. I'm going to turn off my border. I'm even going to turn off my triangles, or my tin lines. I'm going to turn off my user contours, and then I'm going to select Apply and click OK. Click OK one more time. If we zoom in a bit, you'll see all of these cyan points that were obtained from an instrument rod being placed at a particular location and shooting an existing elevation. And that data is imported into our Civil 3D program and gives us this result. I'm going to select my surface once again by clicking on one of these points, going back into my surface style, and I'm going to edit my surface style once again. I'm going to click this edit button, and in my display tab, I'm going to turn on my tin lines or my triangles. I'll click apply, then OK, then OK once more, and now you can see all of the lines that are connected to each and every point that I obtained out in the field. Each of these white lines are known as tin lines. And these tin lines are what are used to triangulate or calculate the position of our contours. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that surface once again. And I'm going to go back into the style. I'm going to edit that style once again. Click on that edit button. Now I'm going to turn on my contours. Click Apply, then OK. OK once again. Then we get our contours that are based upon all of the triangulation that's being calculated by our points and our tin lines.